1939 was a big movie year. Some people call it the greatest year of Hollywood filmmaking. The Wizard of Oz, Gone with the Wind. Stagecoach, Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. The really, really landmark films that came out. Epic tales of homesteading, the promise of, of a lost era in terms of the good old South. And it's a moment too when the classical Hollywood cinema has reached a particular kind of maturity in terms of storytelling that is engaging and the maturity of the acting. It was also the year of Reform School, an independently produced race film. Unfortunately, there is a disgrace attached to anyone coming from a reform school. And when the news circulates that boys were inmates, they can't get jobs. We're looking at a period of rather intense racial segregation in this country. So there is a separate industry making films that have black actors for black audiences, many of whom are watching films in segregated theaters, like entirely segregated. And at the same time, these are films that resonate with the same kinds of genres and stories that are happening in mainstream films. Mother Barton speaking. Reform School came out in the year 1939, starring Louis Beavers. And it's a story about prison reform. Open that door. Which is kind of an indictment on the system that's looking at the ways in which the system doesn't work for everyone. Get back to your quarters a real telling of this sort of dichotomy that has taken place within American history and sort of American identity. You still believe in the use of bull whips, clubs, and Oregon boots, don't you? Certainly. Louise Beavers, who is so marvelous in this film, and we almost never get to see her as anything other than a maid, a mammy figure. She's most commonly known for Imitation of Life, 1934. She had over 100 roles in Hollywood films, but never a main role. But here she is this advocate for juvenile reform. She is the main character. She has top building. Everything evolves around her and her actions. She shapes the storylines. And she is very well dressed, respectful, respectable, takes on a leadership role, and is really challenging the system. It's only natural that you men should sort of resent a woman being appointed a head of this institution. So seeing her as a woman hero, at the same time that you have a character like Scarlett O'Hara, you have Louise Beavers discussing systemic problems within society. Guards aren't going to be guards anymore. They're going to be supervisors. It's emblematic of the constant push and pull of the ways in which folks navigate America. Have you ever stopped to consider the meaning of the word reform? Reform school challenges our very milquetoast understanding around this particular landmark moment. And if you only look at Hollywood cinema, if that's a term, if you will, then we only see a portion of this country. It's expanding the ways in which we can understand and look at American film history. 